Hello my lovelies Today I'm here to talk about 10 BL dramas that are lesser known among the new BL generation These dramas have gone under the radar either because they came out too early when BL was not really that popular or because they didn't get promoted enough by their companies But these dramas are iconic in their own right and should not be missed by a true BL fan So without further ado let's get started with the first one like Love is a Chinese campus-themed BL about two boys, Anzian and Mai Ding. Mai Ding is attracted towards Anzian and approached him first. Anzian keeps rejecting him but also secretly takes care of him and takes notice of everything he does. Anzian falls in love with Mai Ding's innocence and boldness and they start dating. This drama is very tropey in the sense that it involves class differences, parents' refusal, etc. But the most enchanting feature that keeps the audience hooked to this series is the relationship between Mai Ding and Anzian. Anzian is like Mai Ding's sugar daddy who is cold towards everyone else but spoils Mai Ding like a child. He keeps getting amused by Mai Ding's innocent antics and loves to prank him. When Anzian and Mai Ding had to break up because of Mai Ding's parents, Anzian could not even survive one day without Mai Ding and took him away. Honestly, their relationship made my heart flutter and made me smile so much. History 2 Right or Wrong is a Taiwanese drama about the love story of a college professor and his student. Shi Yi Jie, a divorced single man, is an associate professor of the Department of Anthropology. He has an 8-year-old daughter named Yu Yu. Being a single dad, Yi Jie is not able to fulfill his fatherly duties as he's always drowned in work. One day by accident, Yi Jie's student Fei Sheng Jie saves his daughter and after that he becomes a part-time nanny for Yi Jie's daughter Yu Yu. Yu Yu adores Sheng Jie and the two have an instant connection. Sheng Jie also dotes on Yu Yu and Life Love on the Line is a Japanese coming-of-age drama about two high school students, Ito and Nishi. Ito meets Nishi one day on the sidewalk while going home from school. He falls in love with Nishi's innocence and purity and wants to keep him by his side forever. Nishi also shares the same feeling as Ito and they begin a relationship at a very young age. But as times change and their realities change, it becomes harder and harder for Ito to accept his sexuality and stay together with Nishi. Although his love and obsession for Nishi never change, the prejudiced environment around Ito forces him to reevaluate his relationship with Nishi. I love this series because it is so realistically made. The phases of life that Nishi and Ito go through are exactly how many gay people have to live in this society. I felt every emotion that the characters felt and that is a mark of a good series. The actors are both good looking and talented. I wish more people see and appreciate the beauty that is this series. Ingredients is a feel good web series starring actors Jeff and Gameplay. Although the plot is quite simple, the uniqueness comes from the slow burn romance between the two characters which is usually seen only in mangas and novels. The way each episode builds up their chemistry and tension keeps the viewers hooked onto the series. There is no major climax or plot twist. The story is very unidimensional. But while watching it, you can't help but smile and feel the fluffy romance between the two main leads. I love that in this show the food made gets actually eaten and finished which is a rarity in food based dramas. I don't think many people know about this lovely gem of a series even though it's widely available on YouTube. His is a beautiful Japanese movie that came out in the year 2020. This movie is about two men Shun and Nagisa who met in high school and fell in love. Living together until college, Nagisa suddenly breaks up with Shun as he wants to live a so-called normal life. They lose contact after that. Many years later, Shun is now a vegetable store owner in a small village. He is living a quiet life. Suddenly, Nagisa turns up with his six-year-old daughter. Shun is still angry at Nagisa with how he ended things with him. Will Shun be able to reconcile with Nagisa after all these years? This movie is my all-time favorite because it brings a sense of calm in my life. The pacing is perfect and a lot of societal issues like divorce, 
acceptance of gay people in the society, children's point of view of having two dads etc are deeply explored but they don't take away the romance factor of the story. The chemistry between the two leads is strong and we can feel the tension building until it reaches a breaking point. This movie also has a prequel which is also called His. Present Perfect is a Thai movie that came out in the year 2017. This movie is one of my favorite BL movies of all time. Firstly because it's made by Aam Anuson who is known to break BL stereotypes and make realistic LGBT movies and dramas. And secondly because the story is very emotional. I like the slow build up of feelings between the two characters. At first you could never imagine these two having a fling but as you delve deeper into the story you will see that the signs have already have always been there since the beginning. This movie has a sad ending but there is a part 2 called Present Still Perfect which completes the story and gives us a happy ending. Many people ignored this movie because they found it boring or slow paced but for me the pacing is the beauty of this story. It gives a sense of warmth and creates a space in our mind to linger around the characters and beautiful setting of Japan. I love the everyday activities that are shown like eating together, sightseeing etc which makes it feel like we are watching a daily vlog. I like the second part of this movie even more. Grey Rainbow is a love story between two best friends Nua and Porsche who fight against their feelings for the longest time until one day they both confess to each other and begin a beautiful relationship filled with love, passion and sacrifice. Being a Thai BL series, it is expected to have some kind of fluff, tropes or over dramatic characters, but this one has none of that. This series is very raw and real and touches on the subject of LGBT rights in Thailand, sexual assault and mental health as well as dealing with death. I absolutely fell in love with the main leads, they acted very naturally and the gradual pro progression from friendship to love felt natural and genuine. This series came out in the year 2016 when BL was not very widely popular, hence this series flew under the radar. But OG BL watchers still remember and cherish this series. The main leads Nut and Khan are coming together in a new drama called Dear Doctor I'm Coming for Soul which will be their first on-screen appearance after Grey Rainbow. I hate how we glamorize and popularize good-looking BL actors with no chemistry and bad acting skills and ignore real talent who give everything they have to their role and people still don't notice or appreciate their talent. I don't know whose fault it is but Second Chance the series is massively underrated. In my opinion, it is better than some of the mainstream BL series we have seen last year. This BL series involves three love stories but the ones that touched my heart was the Paper and Tongfa story. Fluke and Tong portray their characters amazingly well with utmost sincerity and conviction. As I've said hundreds of times in my videos, their kiss is one of the best kiss I've seen in a BL series. It just felt so raw and real. The subtle emotions they portrayed with their eyes and the gentleness with which they spoke to each other won me over. I highly recommend watching this series because it deserves way more viewership than it received. Red Balloon is a Taiwanese BL series starring Edward Chen who played the lead role in hit LGBT movie Your Name Engraved Herein. I like this short web series because it unexpectedly surprised me as I was expecting it to be quite dark with how the premise was going. But it did not turn dark and all the issues portrayed in the drama settled down and showed a positive and uplifting outcome. The story of this BL is not something new or innovative but the chemistry between the young actors is palpable and makes this drama an enjoyable watch. Each short episode covers a lot of story and it never gets dull or boring. Chen is a hard-working student who has a troubled past with his mother's death and father being a gang leader. One day, Wan, a transfer student, becomes Chen's roommate. However, Wan is hiding a secret. He's gay. As the boy's friendship deepens, so do their feelings for each other. But the boy's relationship faces opposition from their classmates, Chen's father and most importantly, their own self-doubts. 
So these were 10 BL dramas that are massively underrated and deserve a lot of more recognition than they did. I enjoyed making this video a lot because I rewatched all these dramas and got all nostalgic watching them. It was so nice to feel all those emotions again that I felt when I watched these dramas for the first time. I'm going to be making a part 2 of this video soon so if you like this one, leave a comment with your thoughts in the comment box below. Other than that, I will see you all in my next video very soon. Love you all. Bye.